Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video. You're getting an embarrassment of videos at the moment. Uh, reason for that? Um, good question, really. I said on my on my little kind of bio about myself. I say sometimes I post a lot of videos, and sometimes I don't post anything for a few weeks. It depends on whether I think I've got something to say. <laughs> yes. Julian thinks he has something to say. A big surprise. The Pope is a Catholic. Oh, oh, oh no. Mustn't say that. The reason, by the way, I'm doing this particular video, standing up, is that one of my correspondents, or, or my regular viewers, uh, Nigel, Nigel Dunbar, who, Nigel, delights in calling me Justin. Now, there are very few things in the world that I hate more Actually, no, I hate grandparents, and I hate dogs, and I hate children, I hate horses, I hate walkers, I hate a current conservative government. Actually, there are lots of things that I hate, but there are a few things that I personally hate more than being called Justin. Now, you might think, <laughs> where does he get off with a name like Julian complaining about being called Justin? Well, you know, if your name was Nigel, wouldn't you complain about that? I'm sure you would. So, just as a reminder, to Nigel and all the other people out there who think it's so, so funny to refer to me as Justin. My name is Julian, J-U-L-I-A-N. Please remember it. Anyway, the reason why I'm doing this video, standing up in the particular place that I am, is because Nigel wanted to see this particular bike in the background. This is a Mason Definition, which is an aluminium bike I've recently had it serviced at Panagua Bikes in Hayes in Kent. Good place to go if you need any bike work done or anything you need to buy. And it needed a new, a new chain set here, a new cassette, which you can possibly see here. Uh, I think new bottom bracket bearings, new headset bearings, uh, new brake discs. Uh, it had new wheels, um, new tires. A uh, new bar tape, uh, a new saddle, a new seat post, and a new frame. Uh, but apart from that, everything is original. So there you are, Nigel. There is the bike. And no, it is not for sale. But if anybody's interested, by the way, and this suddenly struck me, I do have a Time Ison, which is a fabulous bike with DI2, uh, made of carbon, and that is for sale. So if you're interested in that, leave uh, leave a message in the comments and we'll take it from there. So the reason I'm here is I'm doing an unboxing, fairly quick unboxing, I'd say, this time, because you may have seen this particular thing before, and this is the Silka Tatico Pump. So why might you have seen this before? Well, I did a video, an unboxing, about a week and a half ago of the Bluetooth version of that uh, pump. And if you haven't watched the video, there isn't a link to it up there, but you can find it on my channel. And I could not get the Bluetooth to work. It just kept on searching and searching and searching. It's supposed to have a Bluetooth connection with an app on your phone. And that's how you see what the pressure is when you're pumping up the tires. But it simply did not work for me. So I went on the, the app details and it said that that particular app, which was called iGauge, I think, is designed for use with uh, iPhone 5, 5S and 4, possibly. Well, I have an iPhone 10, of course, would I have anything different? Uh, and it didn't work with that. So I emailed Sigma Sports and I said, which is where I got the pump from. Why would I email them otherwise? I emailed Sigma Sports and I said, uh, this, this pump doesn't work with my Bluetooth uh, because it says it's designed for iPhone 5 or 6. I've got an iPhone 10. What do you have to say about that? And they uh, emailed me back and said, I suggest you contact Silka or the uh, app manufacturers. And I thought, well, well, no, actually. I bought the pump from you, Silka. My contractual relationship is with sorry I said silk I meant Sigma my contractual relationship is with the retailer getting all legalese on you now and that is Sigma Sports so it's the responsibility of Sigma Sports to sort out any problem it's not down to me to start sending emails off to different companies or app developers in China because you don't want to be stuck at the side of the road in the pouring rain in a snowstorm in a blizzard 
in the middle of nowhere with a flat tyre, probably tubeless, almost certainly tubeless, and a Silco Tadeco Bluetooth pump, and you're just searching and searching to get the connection with your phone. And the rain is pouring down, and the snow is coming down, and you're freezing to death, and your fingers can't move, and you can't get the poxy tyre off the wheel, and you can't get a connection with your phone anyway. So that was, I thought that was useless. So I packed it up, and I returned it to Sigma, and I did say... Uh, look, I'm sorry, I had to damage the box in order to get the uh, item out and find out that it doesn't work. Because obviously when you return stuff, they say, oh, well, you've got to return it in the original packaging with all the labels and undamaged and so on and so forth. Well, I just really struggled. Actually, I find that, oh, it worked. Look at that. I managed to open the box without damaging it so if it turns out that this pump doesn't work and there's no reason why this pump doesn't shouldn't work because it's not a bluetooth pump then i haven't damaged the box so we're taking up really delicately there look see junian's taking the out of the box really delicately and now he's going to see if he can can he get into this can he get into oh, let's keep that piece of cardboard we don't want to lose that in case we have to return it and now now what do we do uh, do we do, do we do that? No, we don't do that. You see, when you when you buy something, I mean you're 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 excited, aren't you? You're like a you're like a child at Christmas, and Santa Claus, yes, yes, kids, Santa Claus does exist. Santa Claus has come down the chimney with all of your presents, and you're really excited, so you rip all the paper away. And if your mum and dad said to you, as my mum and dad said to me, uh, because they wanted to reuse the wrapping paper for the following year, they said, don't tear the paper. Well, if you're, if you're a kid who's really excited and you want to get at your presents, well, of course you're going to rip the paper, aren't you? You're going to rip the packaging. And then uh, Father Christmas said, well, if you don't like the packaging, you, if you don't like the present, you can't return it because you've damaged the packaging. So, there we go. Here is the pump. And this is the Silka Tatico pump non bluetooth version and what happens is you lift up the top and you would have seen this when i did the original review so i don't want to go all over it again that comes out like that that connects onto your uh presta valve or you can unscrew that and reverse it for a schrader or a schrader valve and then you have a locking chuck like that so you don't have to try and screw this on to your valve and i'm sure this has happened to you boys and girls you're in in a blizzard at the side of the road in the snowy mountains or the rocky mountains or other mountains are available the himalayas and you're there at the side of the goat track and you've screwed on your your pump connector onto your valve and you've pumped your tire up and then you unscrew it and you pull out the whole fucking part oh shouldn't swear you pull out the whole fucking done it again you pull out the whole frigging valve and then you let all the air out of your tire and then you are royally royally shafted royally shafted so i'm shoving that back in there in that particular unpleasant way here is the uh the connect not the connector the um the pump holder which at one point i will screw onto my bike and the pump works like that, you see, looks like like a like a pump. You know how a pump works. You attach it to your pyre and you pump it. And as I said on the Bluetooth version in my summary, uh, for Silka, 10 out of 10. For Tatico, 10 out of 10. For the pump element, 10 out of 10. For the Bluetooth element, naught out of 10. So if you take that away out of the equation and you're left with a really very nice... Uh, tactile uh, metal barrel I should say quite quite sorry I had my, my finger over the edge I don't think you're supposed to do that sorry it's not that not that sort of video um you uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry I just I just got distracted thinking about something there for a minute um it's just it's it's just a lovely piece of um uh, equipment and it's just nicely it's nicely made it's nice to have it's nice to have nice nicely made nice stuff and there is a there's a kind of rough rough coarseness to this which makes it nice to, makes it nice to grip it not that sort of video not that sort of video there's a rough 
coarseness to the pump that makes it really nice to, to grip when you're pumping up and you've got your finger over the end. No, no, stop it, Julian, stop it. And uh, anyway, that's, that's the pump. So if you want to watch the original video, which gives you a little bit more information, or the mic gives you a bit more uh, film of me ripping some packaging apart, I've retained the packaging, but hopefully I won't have to send this back because I think this is a really nice item. So thanks for watching. Uh, just well, hold on a minute there. Just don't go away. I just want to get something. Here, here I am. Here, I've, I've come back. Now, this, right, this is a little book that I have written and it's called Love's Lost in Girona. And it's a love story and it's a love story with bicycles. It's not about it's not about it's not a love story between bicycles. Let me let me make that clear. It's not that sort of video. It's a love story between people or a few people. There's a couple of couple of couples. Couple of couples? Yes. There are a couple of couples and there are some and it takes place in Girona uh, on a cycle trip. And uh, uh, for a number of reasons I really enjoyed writing it. If you're interested in it, you can get it from Amazon. If you've got uh, Amazon uh, Kindle un Unlimited or whatever it's called, you can get it for free. Otherwise, it's cheap to get on the Kindle or you can get it on in paperback and it's not very expensive. And if I say it myself, it's a nice, nicely written, uh, quite moving um, love story set in Girona with the added benefit of bicycles. So I hope you don't mind me plugging a piece of my own work. Thanks for watching this video. Sorry it's gone on a bit. And Nigel, that is the Mason definition. If you're thinking of buying a new bike, I can highly recommend the Mason definition. It's not cheap. Let's be honest. You can get cheaper aluminium bikes. You may even be able to get better aluminium bikes. Although I, I really liked the, or really, well, I still do like the Mason definition. By the way, I've put mudguards on this as well. If you saw my unboxing video about the mudguards for the Fairlight Seeker, and this has also got mudguards on it. Hadn't ridden it since I've had all the changes done to it. Uh, the pedals were new as well. Um, the only thing that isn't new uh, is the bottle cages. Yeah, uh, the bottle cages weren't changed, and so it's all completely original. Uh, well, the, the, it's the, the bottle cages are completely original, everything else has been replaced. So. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you next time.